My name is Megan Vance. I'm a student at the University of Notre Dame right now where I'm uh, finishing up a PhD uh, in computer architecture, parallel computing research. So I'm, uh, uh, I'm actually on internship right now with my sponsoring organization, which is in Vicksburg, Mississippi. And so I'm down there trying to see where my research is going to fit into my uh, uh, work environment when I end up going to work there. So I showed up and uh, um, sort of the, the initial uh, stages were just getting access to all of their machines and and uh, then so so the next thing was he kind of introduced me to what my mentor introduced me to what he thought were some of the um, problems they were working on that sounded like it fit in with with my research and so what I'm doing right now is looking at trying to design a, a sort of a novel computational approach to a molecular dynamics uh, problem on, on a real, like I said, sort of fundamental uh, uh, computing kind of approach. I'm so happy to be down in the south. I grew up in the south and I'm happy to be back there. The people in Vicksburg are extremely nice. People that all the people that I've met at that facility, in particular, I've worked at other government facilities, and just it seems like a really good fit for me. Um, they've been so nice and so helpful, and and yeah, I I couldn't really imagine anything going better. <laughs> I heard about it uh, through, often at, at my department they'll send around mails with, oh, this, this deadline's coming up, or oh, that deadline's coming up for conferences and scholarships. So I got this email that said, oh, here's this, you know, Depar government, Department of Defense fellowship opportunity. It's due in three days. And I, I read it and I thought, well, this, this looks wonderful because I'd, I'd done some internship work with Tar Department of Energy and the kind of subject there, there was high performance computing right on the right on the scholarship page and so I followed that email link and got my application done as quickly as possible and it turned out great. Oh it was really straightforward I mean so many of the fellowship applications that I looked I mean I'd had some experience you know from applying to graduate school and other fellowships where you have you send in your transcripts you you know, you get your letters of recommendation. The smart application was particularly nice because it was all through the web page and all the people who were writing me recommendations, they had this sort of automated process where I, you know, they'd shoot them an email after I turned in their information. So, so overall the, the application, you know, the, the logistics of the application were really straightforward. And all. Probably floundering trying to get my degree done and wondering where I was going to go next. I, 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 I know that I like what I do. I know that I like doing my research. Um, but the SMART program has really just completely uh, streamlined the whole transition from school into work for me. I mean, just doing the internships and everything. I, without that, I would, I would be sort of hunting for jobs and not, not really having a lot of direction right now, I think. I've been given the opportunity to do exactly what I wanted to do anyway, which was I wanted to go work at a government research facility doing high performance computing, and the sponsoring organization that picked me up is just exactly that. So this has basically been sort of a, a jump start into what I wanted to do anyway. My day. So I show up in the morning, I have my access badge so I can get into the doors and I, and I use all that to log into my personal you know, workstation through which I can log into the um, various high performance machines on site. I read papers, I uh, write notes and then I do some, some software development and I'm working on, by the end of the summer, setting up an experiment to look at this sort of uh, um, algorithm that I'm developing to see to see if it actually scales up.
Throughout my, my graduate education, it's, I've constantly sort of been, like my research would go this way and then that way depending on what funding or what project my advisor was working on. And when I got the funding through this program, it was like, okay, I can just be free of all these concerns of, of trying to do my education you know, in a way that changes every year or every semester, and I can just be free to pursue my interests to the end of my degree. I am free not to worry about job hunting <laughs> uh, uh, in that way, and I'm and I'm yeah, I'm I'm basically free not to not to have to go through a lot of hassle involved in in this transition period, and so I can just get my degree, live my life, do my job. like me and your research is if you're in a, maybe in a research institution and and there's an there's the graduation date issue of maybe you've been a little bit uh, at least in my school the idea is people are optimistic about their graduation date and so you set a date but the understanding is you're doing research you have you're not really sure when you apply for the smart program be pessimistic or realistic, I guess I should say, be realistic of like how, you know, when I applied I had to actually shift my graduation date forward a year because I was giving a date that was kind of soft when this program needs a hard graduation date. So really sit down and really figure out how long you're going to need and and don't try to be like, oh, I'll, I'll be done in a year. If you think you need two years, say you need two years. Say how many years you need if you're working on a graduate degree.